Adding custom songs and mods to Beat Saber requires a little side loading, and for that, you'll need SideQuest. If you don't have it yet, watch this 5 minute video to learn how to set it up quickly. This works on Windows 10, Mac OS 10.12, and Linux desktop and laptop. And you don't need a high end or gaming computer for this. I want to make this quick yet informative, so let's get started. Step 1 Back up your scores. This is optional, but if you don't want to lose your game progress, don't skip this part. In SideQuest, go to Currently Installed Apps. Click the gear icon for Beat Saber and click Backup Game Data. Step 2. Uninstall modded Beat Saber and old BNBF. You always need a clean version of Beat Saber in order to get this to work with the latest BNBF. Overriding doesn't work. That's why this step is necessary for those who already have modded Beat Saber but want to update. To those who are totally new to this, skip to step 4. In the currently installed apps, click the gear icon for Beat Saber. Click Uninstall App. Do the same for BNBF. Step 3. Download Beat Saber again from the Oculus Store and run it once on solo mode. Step 4. Download the latest BMBF from the link in the description. This part is crucial so listen carefully. This is the download page and as of today, the latest version of BMBF is 1.10. And the Beat Saber version that it's compatible with is 1.11. Under this version's assets, that's the APK file you need to mod Beat Saber. Don't scroll down beyond this point because it will lead you to the old versions. Modding Beat Saber with an incompatible version of BMBF will cause Beat Saber to crash or show a black screen and never load. If you make this mistake, just go back to step 2. I'm not sure if there's a way to check what version you have but you can check the latest version there is in the Oculus Store. And if you're not given the option to update, then you already have the latest version. As I am making this video, the latest is Beat Saber 1.11.1. And if you check the BMBF latest release, it's for Beat Saber 1.11.0. The 1.11.1 was just a small update, so BMBF 1.10 still works. The steps in modding are the same, so there is no need for a new video with every Beat Saber update. Just always be sure that you download the latest version. If you want to know for sure if the future Beat Saber releases are compatible with the current BMBF, you can check this tutorial's description whenever Beat Saber updates. I always try to update the description and create a separate text post to let everyone know if it's safe to update or if we have to wait a little bit for a newer BMBF. So be sure to subscribe to stay updated. Now you can download the latest BMBF. Step 5. Install BMBF using SideQuest. Now that you have the latest BMBF, don't open it on your computer. Instead, go to SideQuest. Click the Install APK button and find the BMBF APK you just downloaded. You have successfully sideloaded BMBF so you can now disconnect the cable. Step 6. Open BMBF on your headset and follow the on-screen instructions. To open sideloaded games and apps, click the drop-down box where it says All and scroll down to Unknown Sources. Move the slider to the right to enable installation from unknown sources and click OK. When asked to restore the app, just click close.
Now click Done. Step 7. Download or retrieve your songs. If you are an old BNBF user and you just updated to a new Beat Saber, BNBF will ask you if you want to restore your songs. Click Restore and wait for it to finish. Then click Sync to Beat Saber. If it doesn't ask you to restore, click the Tools tab and click Reload Songs folder. Then click Sync to Beat Saber. For new downloads, click the Browser tab to go to bsaber.com. There's a lot of songs you can choose from when you browse through the pages, but you can make use of the search filters, the menu bar, and the search bar if you're looking for something specific. To download a song, just click the arrow down button. Your queued downloads will appear in the cloud-like icon, and the failed downloads next to the exclamation point. Two downloads failed because I tried to download two songs that were already downloaded, and BMBF doesn't allow duplicates. It says failed because a spam download and a song that is already being processed. But don't worry, the fail message only applies to the ones following the first one. When you finish downloading songs, click Sync to Beat Saber. You won't see your custom songs in-game if you miss this step. You don't need a cable for this, but first, BMBF must be open on your headset. Second, your headset and your computer must be in the same network. Open BMBF and go to Tools. On the top right side, take that IP address and enter it in your internet browser. You can go to BeatSaber.com or BeatSaber.com for downloads. They come in a zip format and should stay that way when you upload them to BMBF. If you are on a Mac, use Google Chrome to download because Safari auto unzips them. If you have mods you want to install, you can upload them the same way and you will see them in Mods tab. In the Playlists tab, you can rename the custom song playlist. Change the cover art. Add more playlist. Move songs from one playlist to another. Delete a playlist. And delete a song. Step 8. Enable storage permission. In your apps, hover on Beat Saber and click the three dots. Click permissions and enable it. You have the option to start Beat Saber through BNBF, but this is not advisable because it won't let you take a screenshot or record your gameplay. So just start Beat Saber normally. Also, make sure you exit BNBF in the Tools tab because even if you do start Beat Saber normally, you still can take a screenshot and record if it's running in the background. You'll be asked to restore the app each time you open Beat Saber. Just click Open App. If you bought music packs or songs previously, you can download them without having to pay again. Step 9. Restore data. Connect your headset to your PC via USB cable again. In SideQuest, go to Currently Installed Apps. Click the gear icon for Beat Saber and click the Restore button. If you are 100% sure that you have the correct BMBF version and you experience a black screen when you open Beat Saber, try this. Quit Beat Saber. Check storage permission. Open BMBF, go to Tools, and click Quick Fix. 
Give it some time to reload your songs. Then click Sync to Beat Saber. After syncing, you can open Beat Saber again. This tutorial ends here and I hope this video helped you.